What's going on? This is GD Beat Studio here, and today I want to show everybody a couple really basic techniques on how to modify or edit your samples, especially one-shot samples. This works really well with them. I'm going to be using a sample straight out of the Dr. Dre sample pack, the free one that I showed you guys in the last video. And I'm going to use this Dr. Dre piano sound. It sounds like a Tupac kind of changes piano sound. And there's a couple ways to get to the audio editor if you don't know. It's really basic, but this is mainly geared for beginners. You can either have it in this channel rack, click it, and then right click to edit. Or if you want to do it straight out of here, the browser, you can right click and go edit in audio editor. Either way, it's going to bring you to this situation here. And you can see first off that the sample is delayed. So if you click it, there's a little bit of lag, even just a small millisecond of lag or two. And uh, you want to get rid of that because that's going to make it tough when you put it into your channel rack and try and play your pattern. And then you line it up with like a clap, say. It's not going to really work. It's going to be a little bit of a lag. So all you got to do is just click it, drag it, and then delete it. And that's that. Now there's no lag. Uh, the second thing you can do to this, this is the other technique that I want to share with you guys, is just fading out the ending. Now you can do this twice or even as many as as many times as you want to get the desired effect. The sample's already pretty short, um, so it's not the best example for this, but it'll work. Instead of that clippy sound at the end, we can just go drag some of this and right click. You go to tools, and there's a ton of options here, but all we want right here is fade out or alt F. Click that and now the whole thing sounds a little bit less jarring at the end kind of fades out at the end you can do this twice or, or how many times you want but I like to do it a couple times to really get that effect there you go now either make sure you're selecting the whole thing or none of it and you use this drag tool you can click it and hold it and just drag it on top of that old sample you have and there it is boom now it's been replaced so now if you were to put it here in the channel rack and there you go so those are the two techniques I wanted to show you guys again all you gotta do is open things into the audio editor and then drag and delete if you want to just get rid of parts of it or drag and then alt F or go to right click tools and then do what you want there so that's all I wanted to show you guys today these are a couple really basic techniques to improve how you handle your samples. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos or for beat remakes, which are my favorite thing to do, please leave a comment and please like the video to boost it and subscribe if you want to be notified every time I post a video. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.